Hey, I'm Anthony, and there's only one thing I like more than fishing, and that's catching. Welcome to OC Outdoorsman. Look at that. Look at that wing. Oh, it's so huge. Hey, welcome back to OC Outdoorsman. It is 6.30 a.m. Air temperature is right at 57 degrees. I'm here at Dana Point this morning. On my way out to the mouth of the harbor to make some bait. Water temperature is at 65 degrees. So I don't know if it's going to be warm enough for Benito and Barracuda. But today my strategy is to head north towards the kelp beds to fish for sheephead and calico bass. Now, if the kelp is submerged, if it's not on the surface, I will then just end up trolling because I did bring my Nomad DTX lure. I really want to see what's out there. So I'll be trolling that behind my yak, and if I'm able to land some live bait, hopefully mackerel, I'll be trolling that as well. So that is my game plan for today. All right, I'm outside of the harbor, and I'm not metering any bait fish, so I'm just gonna, here's the uh, Nomad DTX. This one is in mackerel color, so. I'm just gonna cast this bad boy out and I'm gonna start trolling north towards the kelp forest. right into my net and hooked it. Holy shit. Look at that guy. I'm gonna measure him. Oh wow. It's 15 inches. It's a legal calico. That is a legal calico bass. Let's see if I can weigh him here. is skinny though he is one pound 15 ounces so skinny calico but he is legal I'm gonna let him go skunk is off the boat but check it out he knocked this lure right into the base of my net and it is deep in there. It's tough getting this out. Uh oh, big old weight coming from a boat. Need to head into it. Face into it. Oh man, look at that. It was deep into my net here. Well, great news guys. Check it out. The kelp is on the surface. Look at that. And I am latched on, baby. So we're gonna be fishing for sheephead now. I need to change up my hooks here. Let me switch to a number four circle hook. 
I like to use the uh, light wire circle hooks. They work best on sheep head. Let's see if I have any. Oh, perfect, right there. Number four Mewtwo light circle hooks. Yeah. Oh no. This is a rubber lip perch. Really? I'm in 34 feet of water. In the kelp. Look at those rubber lips. Oh, this is a nice one. Ah, oh, came off. Dang it. Swam into the kelp. Oh man, look at this. I'm gonna have to switch up my hook. That last fish, because I'm using light wire hook to check it out. He bent it up. He stretched it, stretched it out. I have to swap hooks. Oh, oh sure. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Hey. Yeah. Your name's Matt, right? Yes, Matt. All right. Good to meet you, Matt. Yeah, nice to meet you. Matt's a subscriber to my channel, and when he spotted my yak, he came by to say hi. So, like I said in previous videos, it's always great meeting you guys out here on the water. So. Yeah, don't hesitate. If you ever spot my big orange yak out here on the ocean or on the lakes, come by. Say hello. Oh, this is a good one. He swam into the kelp. Dang it. This often happens. It's one of the hazards of fishing the kelp for us. If you catch a fish, sometimes they'll swim right back into the kelp and tangle itself up. So what I'm doing here is I'm releasing the bale, hoping that he'll swim out of it, but... In this case, he was really hunkered down in there and I had the hardest time trying to free him from the kelp. When I grabbed the line here, I could still feel the fish fighting on the end of that hook, but I pulled a little too hard and he broke off. So I lost this guy. Feel him pulling on the line. You're showing, baby. Dang it. Another rubber lip perch. Now the sun's out. Check it out. Check out the water. And the beach. It's looking good. Air temperature is now at 61 degrees. But the uh, water temperature has dropped to 64.6 degrees. So no Benito or Barracuda today. Well, it was another slow day of fishing, and here I am heading back to Baby Beach, but, you know, at least I didn't get skunked. If you look in the distance, you could see the Orange County Sheriff's Department spraying down the crowd with ocean water. It was a really warm day today. I mean, look at all the people on the beach. It was a perfect day to be out on the water though.
you can see I covered a little over seven miles of water today and got a really good workout this morning. Well, thank you for watching and you know what would really help out the channel? If you would give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again.